Hello everyone, welcome in to Studio 318. I am Chris Notch. Special treat for you tonight. Thanks everyone that is currently tuning in, whether it's on Facebook, or uh, sorry, excuse me, YouTube, or of course, uh, Channel 112 on Suddenlink. Uh, with us, we have, of course, uh, Landon Green, who is in Shanghai, China. Um, they are currently going to be um, touring the journalism school in uh, Fudan for the university in Shanghai. So Landon, why don't you kind of show us uh, kind of what, what it's like uh, over there in Shanghai. Uh, hey guys, sorry, we're actually discussing some stuff with uh, one of the people that's actually giving our tour today. Um, Shanghai is a beautiful city, as you can see behind me. Here's the, the campus that we're on, the journalism campus. Um, and it's just a, a nice little place to where, where students uh, come and they uh, just you know have, have a lot of fun and get, get some, uh, some good journalism out there, good broadcasting inf uh, information and uh, different things like that with advertising and uh, all kinds of things. Uh, we'll, we'll walk in here real quick and kind of get a little bit of the uh, back side of this tour with uh, our students and our professors. Here's our students uh, now. The, uh, all up bright and early so for a good tour. And then learn more about that. For example, I can, I can uh, ask our uh, ITs to do it for you. Russia, Russia. Uh, we can just click one of the most hottest news uh, in real time. So, so Lennon, question, what, what is she kind of showing you on, uh, on that monitor? Um, what, what is it that the, uh, the graphics that, that are up so, on that board? So these are sort of their trends and everything that's going on, so they can actually control it. So right now they're actually uh, controlling a lot of it. So this is how they kind of gather trends from around the world um, and throughout China. And then, of course, um, this is sort of their database that they can use as well uh, to kind of show videos that uh, they put out or any information that they want to put out. Um, they just put that together and put it in this database. Okay, so, um, of course, we, uh, you, you've been there for a couple days. I know you're touring the school, and, and as we go along, we will definitely um, have you show us more. But talk a little bit about when you, what what the transition has been like. You know, it's a 13 plus hour time change. How has it been? Has it been a challenge trying to get used to such a drastic time difference? Yes, all of For example, I mean, so the first day that we that we came out, um, it was a little tough to try to kind of gauge. We all woke up at four o'clock in the morning. So um, it was kind of tough trying to gauge, but I think today we're starting to kind of get more into uh, into a rhythm as far as routine and everything goes, um, and just trying to uh, you know we woke up at like seven o'clock today, so I think eventually we'll kind of get back into the rhythm like we did uh, or like we sleep in America. Uh, we're actually about to walk into their studio right now, so I'll flip it over to the other side so that you can see that. This is their studio. This is their blue screen, similar to our green screen. Bring their own scripts and the film a video here. And after filming, they just come to the computers over there to edit all this video. Yeah. So they have editing and every everything in here is capabilities. So whenever they get done shooting over here on this side of the studio. They'll actually just take it over here uh, to these computers and they'll just edit it over here in their editing base. Uh, that they have. I'm getting word that people can't uh, hear him. He's unfortunately, he's, he's kind of frozen. We're getting uh, a little bit of technical difficulties, of course. Um, things like that happen when we're a little far away. Um, it, it's definitely cool, though, that, um, you know, it, that we're able to get this opportunity to kind of give a little bit give some time um, to hopefully give it time to um, unfreeze itself. For those that don't know, what, what Landon is doing, Landon along with four other students, uh, as well as um, two faculty members, uh, they are actually there in uh, Fudan, at Shang in, in Shanghai, at uh, Fudan University, uh, kind of doing like a, uh, um, you call it like a J-term, um, kind of like a study abroad. 
And, um, and so they were able to do that. They're actually gone. Um, they left uh, just this past Saturday, so uh, just coming up on a week almost, and then they are gone uh, for the first week of June. Uh, so they, they get to do all sorts of things um, for projects, uh, stuff like that to try and um, just projects that they can bring back. Of course, uh, we are able to do this live, so it's, it's great that Landon is able to help us. Uh, also, just to give a little special thanks to uh, Jordan King, who is currently doing the switching, kind of helping us all over. So special, special shout out to um, Landon. So we can see once here, he may, I don't know if he's reconnecting or not, um, if Landon is, it seems like it's still, still, uh, still frozen um, on our end. So we are, of course, working on getting, tech-wise, getting that sorted out. Of course, when you are live and um, overseas, he, uh, um, I shouldn't say he, but when it's overseas, you deal with these uh, types of issues. So again, he, uh, I just got word he is getting re-logged in, getting things uh, sorted out. Um, but yeah, continuing on, so again, the students and the staff, they get to go out. They get to do a lot of touring. I know Landon was telling me they're up from early in the morning, five or so, and then they don't usually go to bed till, till late because they've got so much to do. Uh, yesterday, for those of you that they haven't would, seen like, on the Daily O, uh, if you check out the YouTube like, page, shoot, the Daily like, O TV. Like maybe like an introduction or something they will need for their documentary see, in that studio. Um, Can they use that studio? Landon was able to go to the People's Park uh, in downtown Shanghai, and uh, you would be able to um, uh, be able to watch that. But I've got word he is now back. So, okay. so Landon, why don't you kind of okay. show us so what else is uh, going on on this tour? To do that, or who would that help? Where do they make an appointment? Um, so, I mean, we're just kind of looking around the school now. Um, this is their uh, library here on their second floor. Um, so this is a little set up and everything. We've had, uh, already been in their conference room. Uh, yeah, but if it's in Chinese, the first day that we were here, we went and studied a little bit uh, with one of their professors that set all this up. Yeah, they wanted to make an we just talked a little bit, and got on PowerPoint, and kind of learned a little bit about the history of the school, um, the journalism school um, that started in 1929, and uh, it was officially accredited. Um, in 1987, I believe, 1984, 1987, uh, between those two years sometime. Um, and so uh, we got to learn a little bit about that and some of their master's programs and uh, you know, just some of the interesting things and uh, kind of dialogue that goes between those two uh, degrees. Hey, so from what you've seen so far um, as a someone from journalism, what, what are some things you've noticed that are different uh, over there with their journalism building than uh, over here? Well, uh, I've noticed that it's, it's, it's white. Um, I think one thing that they, they uh, kind of promote over here is a lot of uh, cleanliness uh, whenever they're working. I think it uh, kind of harbors more of an organizational um, feel to it. And so they have a, a lot of their stuff is, is like kind of really clean as you can see from some of the, uh, I mean, just some of the work around. It's uh, very, very sharp. So Landon, tell me that monitor that you were just uh, zoomed in at, what, what is that uh, monitor for? So if you want to price, the Bloomberg will give you a certification to prove that you have the ability um, of data mining. I think it's for uh, uh, marketing 
uh, data mining and things like that. Um, so if they like want to do um, um, uh, how would I say? Basically, they can, they compete with other students to kind of test how they can uh, stop cybersecurity and different things like that. Uh, in here. And they can also, you know, like say they can edit things and different things like that. Okay, so we're, we're I, I kind of want to take a, a step back from uh, the journalism building. Of course, we are going to keep it on your shot as we um, kind of watch the the tour with you, um, so so to speak. But what are some what is some have you tried anything um maybe that's a specialty cuisine over there yet um dumplings of course um those are a huge huge uh staple here um, soup dumplings so they're they're dumplings that are filled with soup and usually pork um and we've probably had probably close to 100 between us all since we've been here so um, noodles, um, rice, of course, is a huge thing. Um, we've had we've had a lot of those uh, different foods, um, and then of course I mean, we've tried everything. Uh, I think yesterday we tried uh, bullfrog. Um, we've eaten uh, all kinds of different foods that we don't. I don't even know what some of them are. Uh, you know, some of them we just kind of get handed them and we start eating. Um, we don't even know what they are. They just taste good, you know. So. Um, we're kind of able to able to really uh, uh, see uh, you know a different culture. Um, I think we explained it the other day. You know, it's uh, Chinese food is kind of a novelty in America. You know, you can just go and eat it on Monday, but here it's you know, you're eating it every day. So um, it's very interesting to kind of see the different uh, the different ways that people cook over here um, and that the uh, the kind of care that they put into their food. I see. Uh, I see. We lost him uh, again. It looks like uh, as the connection must go in and out um, at times. So again, we're we're working on it. As things come and go, we will um, we will we'll try and again get that sorted out. Um, but again, for those of you that maybe were cutting out, um, as I do have him in my ear, um, he was saying that they've done a very good job of. Um, Kind of updating the technology, making sure it is um, kind of up to par and and up to standards, um, especially for for over there. Um, so we are going to see once I I know he's kind of probably trying to to work work on if we can get this figured out. Um, so what we will do is we are going to take just a a quick little break. Um, we'll just go off the screen for a second and see if we can. Um, get him up and running again, and uh, we'll give you a, an announcement here uh, potentially in just a second as I am kind of getting in stuff again as we go. We're, we're trying, um, um, trying to uh, go. So we uh, will quickly cut to a, a, a quick break um, right now. But um, again, please do stay tuned, watch. We are going to um, go and, uh, again, try and work this out with Landon. We're going to see if we can get him for a little bit more. Um, but, again, we will let you know um, what, uh, what we end up doing here in, uh, in a second. So, again, uh, in just a second, I will be switched off. We will have a graphic up. We are still going to be live, so that way if we um, get – but. I will say real quick uh, before before we get cut here off the audio and everything that um, it's a very big accomplishment uh, for the journalism building here in Stillwater to be able to broadcast live from Shanghai, China. It is a very big thing for us here in Stillwater. Very proud and able to to do this for student media, of course. As um, again, we are we are able to. Do something that you know years ago you maybe would have never thought possible. So to be able to do this is a very big accomplishment for us, um, and uh, great things are on the horizon, uh, especially here and then over there. So we are going to take a quick break. Um, as uh, I, it sounds like we're potentially again getting a back 
apologize. We're, we're kind of going with this on, on the fly here. Um, but again, as I was saying, big accomplishment. As you can see, the footage is now back um, from Landon as he is walking around showing us um, different things on, on the monitors, of course, TVs. Oh, it's uh, different studios. Again, I'm seeing this stuff just as you are seeing it um, uh, on the uh, thing. So, Landon, what, what is it that you were just showing us? I think there might be some awards. Um, I'm not sure. I don't know Chinese, but that's some organization we cooperate with. For example, the paper. Can you hear uh, that? We could just hear it a little bit. If you could reiterate what she was just saying. So these are the organizations that they collaborate with. Um, so this is like their newspaper uh, studios. Uh, video work and things like that. Okay. So is is, is their building uh, fairly large in size? Um, it's pretty big. Um, I would say here, here's the here's the thing is that right now we're actually oh, in the okay. library. We're not in the J school. Um, so this is the J school library. So they have their own library that they can do stuff. Um, for their PhD and master's and professional master's program uh, students. And so um, the J actual J school is actually over here. So we're actually on an entire campus just for the journalism program. So we are uh, just being able to uh, come here, then we go over to a, a classroom building for the journalism school, and then there's a, a you know, like to say the studio, and then there's other things uh, like newspaper and different things like that that they can work on, um, and just kind of work a little bit on that. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's pretty interesting. So these organizations, they're sort of like uh, for their master's um, professional program, they actually have two advisors. One is a uh, academic advisor that helps them with classes. And then the other advisor is actually a professional advisor. So it's somebody who's in the um, somebody who's in the actual industry right now. They're a manager at a TV station or a, a editor at a newspaper that actually advises them on their jobs um, and how they can kind of get get get, uh, get work um, after they get done with get their degree and everything and it helps with networking and different things like okay. that. Okay. Um, I will I will say this in case there's anyone that's just kind of tuning in here and there, uh, maybe just turn it on, the, the TV on. Um, but again, we are talking with Landon Green, uh, one of four other students um, and two faculty members that are in Shanghai, China. Um, again, at uh, Fudan University in Shanghai. Um, and uh, so they, He's given us a tour, kind of, with, or we are joining him on their tour, um, of course. Um, but again, this is a huge thanks to Landon and all the other students and, and faculty for this experience, of course. Um, as again, it wouldn't be possible if, if Landon and these others, if, if they weren't given this opportunity uh, to represent, um, you know, of course, you know, the United States, but, but uh, Oklahoma State as well. Um, Landon has. I know you said they're kind of in their library section right now. Is there, um, has she talked about what they kind of study um, over there? Um, uh, they study a lot of uh, law, uh, media law. Um, they study a lot of uh, uh, former cases that, that um, sort of like uh, Pulitzer Prize winning uh, newspaper articles, um, different award-winning videos, and they just kind of study those and what what makes them, you know, the, the effects behind what makes those uh, videos popular or what makes the, the newspaper articles, you know, really resonate with people. Um, and they don't really discuss the content, but actually then analyze the content. You know, they, they discuss the, um, just the behind-the-scenes stuff that really uh, the psychological things and that kind of makes people really want to read and uh, watch videos. So, you know, did, and I don't know if anyone's maybe asked this or if they've talked about this, but, um, you know, do they talk about funding for them or how they how they get funded at all? Or I, maybe no one's asked that yet either. 
Uh, so um, from what we gathered in class the other day, um, a lot of their funding comes from uh, the state, uh, the municipal government uh, here in Shanghai, um, and they give a lot of the money. Um, I'm pretty sure they might be, they might be 100% funded uh, through the uh, Shanghai municipal government. Okay. Um, have I, I I will say there's kind of another. Another uh, little shout out for, for our end of things. Um, again, shout out to Jordan King who is, is doing our switching for those that just um, just coming in. Um, and then also, anyone that's maybe a student or know someone that's actually watching this, of course this is help with the Yokali Media Group, which is how we're all formed. It's with the, the television side of things, radio, the newspaper, uh, we do sales, we do Yokali Creative bunch of different opportunities so again if there's anyone that's interested wants to get involved by all means please uh, get involved you could be uh, potentially the next one being able to go uh, to Shanghai uh, like Landon and the others um, which speaking of Landon if you could why don't you kind of let us and the uh, other viewers and people watching know what other students are with you and what kind of projects are each of you working on or if or if they're uh, able to kind of um, step aside and, and if they want to kind of say for themselves, um, you can start with yourself, of course. What, what, uh, what, what's your project over there? Ah, my dissertation is about to migrant workers, but not, not, not for the. Uh, so, my specific project is over basketball and the NBA in China um, and how it's become such a large market for the NBA and college, uh, Chinese basketball and things like that. Um, and just being able to kind of see different things. I've seen about four NBA stores so far um, within. We're going to try to uh, go to a sports bar and the finals uh, tomorrow. It'll be Thursday night for you guys, but it actually broadcasts in the morning on Friday. And so we're going to actually try to find it on Friday night uh, if they rebroadcast it. Uh, yeah, I'll get uh, some people uh, Justine. Justine, would you like to come over here and tell the people what you're doing for your project? Yes. Okay, this is Justine Gramling. She is one of our students, a senior uh, in our building, and so she's going to tell you a little bit about what she's doing for her project. So I am doing a um, uh, research paper, more so research, like written paper, about um, the fashion industry in China and how um, westernization's kind of taken over the uh, trends and design and how media has an influence on all of this and how it's all and, you know, just like the seeing how media spreads and how it truly really has impacted, you know, something as simple as fashion here. And it's already been pretty cool because we've got to um, go to a fashion um, business and they got to kind of explain um, how, you know, they keep up with the trends and the different shoots that they do and just how media has already impacted China and what, you know, it's going to look like going on forward. Um, so a lot of neat things that we've been able to do and I actually cannot wait to start researching as uh, some more on my own, how to kind of figure out, you know, the more logistics behind it, like why um, things are changing and how they change. Um, so yeah, but I think that's all I've got. Uh, but yeah, it's gonna be good, and we're all doing something different. And mine just happens to be about fashion. So but, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Justine. All right, Cassie, would you like to come over and tell everybody what you're doing for your project? Um, so I am doing a kind of a news magazine type of show, but it's more of a food traveling blog video. Um, so I'm going around and trying different um, traditional Chinese foods and the difference between Chinese food, traditional Chinese food, and Shanghai food. Um, two totally different things. Um, we're also doing um, some touristy spots, um, downtown areas, lots of different uh, locations, and um, mostly a video on how to uh, be immersed as a local. So, um, really excited for the outcome. <laughs> well, that is Cassie Gann, everybody. She's an outstanding student. She's already got most of her project, half her project done already, so she's knocking it out of the park. Uh, Alex? Alex? Would you like to come talk to the people at home? Uh, you're just going to talk about your project, what you're doing, and uh, the different things that uh, you plan to accomplish with it. Uh, this is Alex Mangold, one of our other seniors at SMSC. Hi, um, my project is based on uh, 
Um, I'm looking at the media presentation on climate uh, change and environmental conservation in China, and I'm also going to be doing interviews so I can get some like public opinion pieces for it. Awesome. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. And uh, Jacob, Jacob, would you like to come over? This is Jacob Jackson, my roommate on the trip, and uh, another one of our seniors. All, all these are seniors um, in our SMSC program. Of course, I'm a grad student, but uh, these are all students, and of course, the, the coolies have gone on and graduated, got their PhDs and everything. So, uh, Jacob, tell us a little bit about your project. Yeah, so I think I have two. So my first one is vlog and everything. I'm doing sort of like a vlogumentary of kind of what we're doing here, more so like just kind of so we can all remember and kind of like documentation of what we're doing. And then my main project is I'm, I'm doing a video project about the GAUCO, which is the college entrance exam. Um, it's like considered one of the most like difficult in the world, and it's the only metric really for getting into college. So you take your test, um, and your score determines where you go to school, if you can go to school, um, and it's supposed to be like a really neutral system, so they don't look at like campus involvement, really, like volunteer work, stuff like that, so it's kind of like everybody's only being um, analyzed academically, so it's kind of a completely different system, so I wanted to kind of learn more about that. Awesome, awesome. Thank you, Jacob. Thank you. Um, also, we have uh, Dr. Doctors, Sky and Asia Cooley, um, on our trip, so we've actually gone through two lectures already. Um, we had a planned lecture yesterday that ended up getting canceled, um, and then we have two lectures next week. Um, but uh, Sky here is actually going to give a lecture when? Uh, I'm going to give a lecture Monday? on Monday to the Fudan University students. Um, we'll be talking about strategic communication, really um, strategic use of narrative and storytelling, um, and talk about how to, how to um, not necessarily weaponize narrative, but certainly how to strategically use narrative to get a point across. Um, it's an interesting topic to cover in China, in China just because um, you know, it's a communist party system. There are, oh, this is my daughter, Indiana, by the this way. This is Indiana. <laughs> she did not want to be picked up. Um, but it's an interesting topic for uh, Chinese students just because they don't really get um, a critical look at the way media can be used in terms of uh, weaponizing media. So I'm really excited to get it. Um, it's a, something that's really near and dear to my heart because we research researched that um, use of narrative. Man, I'm killing, I'm struggling with a lot of It's fine, man. it's fine, no uh, worries. I hope you guys are going to be able to edit that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, I'm excited to give the uh, to give the lecture. I think that um, from what I've seen, the students here are really, really bright and they're really engaged. So we'll be talking about, you know, just the use of narrative and, and media and the way that you can use it strategically. So that's kind of the plan. Awesome. Well, thank you. I yeah. appreciate it. And and we really do. We do. They do. Uh, we owe an appreciation to these two. Um, without them, we definitely wouldn't even be in uh, Shanghai right now um, studying journalism um, at one of the finest universities in all of China. Um, one of only two journalism schools in China. Um, the other one is in. Uh, uh, ooh, it's in a city much more north of us, and I can't remember the name of it. Wait, is it in Beijing? Yeah. Oh, okay. So the other one is in Beijing. So, so we're, we're uh, one of two in Shanghai and Beijing, but we owe uh, all of our gratification to uh, Doctors Cooley um, because, uh, like I say, without them, they wouldn't do it. And, of course, uh, Craig Freeman, um, you know, just allowing us to go on. Uh, Dr. Kluver uh, for helping us kind of uh, get ready for this trip. And, of course, um, everybody else back there that's always supported us and, uh, you know, just kind of put us on their back and, and helped us get to this point where we can be uh, good enough students that we can you know, be able to come to China and learn more um, about the journalistic, um, journalistic yeah, profession. And, and also, of course, a, we have to give a special thanks and, uh, uh, to Dr. Freeman, who is the director of our program, of course, as well, um, because without his vision, um, this probably doesn't happen, as well as uh, Max Andrews. We all know Max would, uh, doesn't like to be in the spotlight um, or get shout outs, but uh, shout out to Max Andrews as well as he has been a big initiator on being able to uh, do these uh, in-studio shows go live. Uh, if it wasn't for him and, and Dr. Freeman and of course the, the Dr. Cooley's as you had mentioned as well, Landon, uh, none of this is possible um, as well as the university. So um, great experience uh, for, for all of you over there and of course all of us who are able to, to watch something uh, from a whole uh, different years. country. Yeah, I got one more thing to say. This this little girl right here, Indiana Cooley, she is somewhat of an internet celebrity over here in China. Um, she's become a international sensation. Everywhere we go, people stop 
they've been taking videos of her they've been taking pictures of her um, and she has become something of a like I say an international sensation um, we've called her the blonde boo from Monsters Inc um, because people just they, they can't get enough of her so you know if you ever see um, if you ever see a, a little little baby on any type of Asian commercials, so it's probably going to be her because she has taken over, taken the country by storm. Real quick, and then we'll, we'll let you go so you can uh, kind of experience um, all that. But are you guys going to get any opportunities to um, do maybe a little recording? Or are you guys going to be um, on, you know, on a broadcast? What what kind of is planned for the rest of your time there? Um, of course, we will do some other, I'm sure, live shots as well, but. Um, what else is kind of on the agenda? Um, so actually later today we're going to be going to an agency that helps them with filming and the documentary is called Six Tone. Um, and it's just an agency that, they, uh, that the students have and they use uh, to kind of outsource some of their uh, video work and editing. Uh, so we'll be going to that. Um, Saturday we'll actually be walking from here to downtown to the Bund which is in downtown Shanghai near the Yangpu River. Um, it's about a, I think they said it's like a six mile walk. So it's gonna be a, an interesting little trek uh, from our university to uh, the Bund um, and get to see some of the nice things down there. Uh, uh, I think next week sometime we're actually gonna go see a small town outside. It's a water town. Um, and so you know, they, they go out and they, uh, we're gonna go out there and, uh, see all that next week and then of course from there just kind of uh, take a couple lectures in we actually have a, uh, a students uh, as five we actually have a uh, presentation that we're doing for our intercultural communication class with the dean of the universe or the dean of uh, the journalism school uh, dean lee and so we'll actually give a presentation of our um, of our view of shanghai and what we've seen yeah so, but yeah, so we'll just be doing that for most of the trip. All right, Landon. Well, also thank our, our great <laughs> our great tour guide as well. Thank thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is great. <laughs> so, as again, they're as you can see there on the screen, they were kind of thinking they are getting ready to continue um, their way. So again, uh, thanks to Landon, all the other students that are there. Um, again, in Shanghai, that was Landon Green was uh, doing all the camera work and video work for himself, of course, and, and the others, uh, Justine, Alex, Cassie, Jacob, and then uh, the Dr. Cooleys, um, and then, of course, their, their little one that is now, as we found out from Landon, a turning into an internet sensation. Um, so again, thanks to them. Thanks to China as a whole for us being able to even do this, uh, to Shanghai, you know, for uh, Fudan, for their university, for being able to show um, the students what has been has been going on and then of course to go back thanks Max Andrew Dr. Freeman all other professor staffs people I'm forgetting Jordan King who has been doing the switching for us helping with audio um, run, doing things on the fly for us as we've been kind of moving along so again if you are a student know someone that's maybe interested a lot of this has been also capable because of the Ocali Media Group OMG um, which is what we're kind of broadcasting with. Again, they do TV, radio, newspaper, uh, Ocali Creative. They do all sorts of creative stuff. So again, if you want, please do check out our website as well, Ocali.com. You can see all the latest stuff for Oklahoma State sports, uh, local news, um, all of that kind of stuff to keep up to date. We also have a mobile app as well, which is just the Ocali um, that you can search Ocali and you will find um, our app for both Android and uh, iPhone as well. So again, thanks to everyone that has uh, been able to make this happen, of course. So again, this is Chris Notch signing off with OMG. Have a good night.